elephants have wrinkles, 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 elephants have Hi friends, it's Miss Dawn. I'm going to be sending you guys a video each day so that we can learn and practice each day that we're not together at school. First off, I want to say I miss you guys. Kisses, and here's a hello song for you guys. Are you ready? You might want to sing along with me. It's good to get together, together, together. It's good to get together with all of our friends like Bella and Tyler and Cheyenne and Maura. It's good to get together with all of our friends like Joni, Sebastian, Savannah, and Maddie. It's good to get together with all of our friends like Mia S and Mia G and Christopher and Brady. And it's good to get together with all of our friends like Daniel and Sean and Jake and Miss Lori. It's good to get together with all of our friends. Hi, friends. So since we can't be together at school, Miss Dawn is going to send these videos that you can watch every day. And I'm going to send home some work so that you can practice and show mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or even your brothers or sisters how smart you are. So we're going to start just like at school, and we're going to start off with our calendar. And guess who's here with me? Mr. Echo. He came too, so he's going to even help us with the calendar. So we all know, and I hope we remember, it is March of 2020. So I hope that you're going to count along with Miss Dawn as we do our calendar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, guys, what comes next? What's after 22? Did you say 23? Because if you did, you are right. Now let's look at the number 23. There it is, two and a three. Now when we look at our calendar, we have a pattern. We have a pattern of shamrock, rainbow, shamrock, rainbow, shamrock, rainbow. So when we jump down here to number 22, it's a rainbow. So what do you think is going to come next, rainbow or shamrock? If you said shamrock, you are right, because that's the pattern. Rainbow shamrock, rainbow shamrock. So there it is, number 23, and we're going to slide all the way up to our days of the week. And we see it starts with an M. Mm. What day of the week starts with an M? Well, let's sing our song. Sunday, Monday. And there it is. Today is Monday, March 23rd of twenty. 20. Great job, guys. All right, guys. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit of rain and clouds today. So I had rainy and cloudy as our weather. And I'm going to put them right over there for Monday, March 23rd. It's time to review our letters. I'm going to say each letter and the sound first, and you're going to repeat after me. Okay? Nice and loud. Let's hear you. A, apple, a. Ah. B, bat, b. C, cat, k. D, dog, d. E, ed, a. Eh. F, fun, f. G, games, g. H, hat. I, itch, e. Eh. J, jug, j. K, kite, k. L lamp, ooh. M man, mmm. N nut, mmm. O octopus, ah. P pan, p. Q queen, k. There's that U that's always next to Q. R rat, rrr. Not my favorite one. S snake, s. Watch out for those sneaks. And the new letter of the week is T, T, top, T. Top is a very special spinning toy. And that begins with T. 
There are lots of things that begin with T that we're going to talk about this week, but there's somebody in our class that begins with T. Can you think of who, which one of our friends' name begins with T? Do you got it? It's Tyler. If you guessed Tyler, you were right. Tyler begins with T. Hi, Tyler. All right, gang, time to write the letter T. So, of course, here are our lines. The T does not go into the lava. It does not go down all the way to the worm. So, like all our letters, especially those capital ones, we're going to start at the top line, go down through the middle line, and right to the bottom and stop. Lift up your marker, and then right across the top, give them a hat. That's your capital T. Again, down to the bottom, through that middle line, give them a hat right across the top. That's your capital T. But lowercase t is a little bit different. Let's get rid of that one. And lowercase t starts in between that top cloud line and that airplane line. We start a little bit down, go down to the bottom again. And this time when we lift up, right on that middle line, we go across. Again, we start a little bit down from that skyline, down all the way to the bottom, pick up our marker, go to that middle line and come right across. And that's your lowercase t. Now, Miss Dawn can make a t. If she stands up and puts her arms out like this, she's the letter t. Can you stand up and make a t? Let's make a t. Are you a t? Don't topple over t's. Miss Dawn's just being silly. All right. Now that you've seen how Miss Dawn and you are going to write your letter T's, Miss Dawn sent home this worksheet. And on this worksheet is something else that starts with the letter T. And that's our little turtle friend right there. So you are going to get your sheet and get a skinny marker. And you are going to trace the capital T and the lowercase T. And then trace all the practice lines of capital T and lowercase T. And when you're done, then you can color in your little turtle friend for some practice. Speaking of turtles, Miss Dawn has a storybook about a turtle. And it's when Tilly Turtle came to tea. Now I want you to listen to the story real careful because there's a lot of words that start with the letter T in our story. So let's see what happens when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she took a taxi to a tree where the party was to be when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she arrived on time, the time of three, looking pretty as can be when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, there were tiny teacups set for three and toast and tarts beneath the tree when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, her friends Tiger and Toad and she told tall tales and laughed with glee when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she laughed so hard she could not see and tipped the table with her knee when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, the teacups tumbled, oh dear me, what a terrible sight to see when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she told her friends, please pardon me for the topsy-turvy mess you see when Tilly Turtle came to tea. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she said, if you will both agree, please put the tablecloth on me when Tilly Turtle came to tea. I think they're turning her into something. When Tilly Turtle came to tea, she saved the party cheerfully. She turned into a table. See, when Tilly Turtle came to tea. That was a silly story. 
Now, there's lots of things in this picture and lots of things that I mentioned that start with that t, t, t sound. Can you see any of them? Do you see a t, 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 taxi? How about a t, 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 turkey? Or a t, 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 tiger? Or a t, 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 tablecloth? Tilly's holding a t, 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 teacup. Lots of things that start with the letter T. And you guys know, in our song that we sing, the T says T, the T says T. Every letter makes a sound, the T says T. Without the T, where would we be? We love just doing our thing. So thanks and please for toe tap in tears. Yes, t is the sound we sing. Jolly good show. The T says, the T says, Every letter makes a sound, the T says. Okay, boys and girls, I have another cute turtle right here, a little turtle friend, and he's really cute, but you know what he needs? This turtle needs some color. What do you say, some color? Can you help me count to three? Ready? One, two, three. Ta-da! Isn't he even more adorable now? Miss Dawn sent one of those cute little turtles home for you to color. And when you're done coloring it all up, take out your scissor from your supply packet and cut him out. Remember, boys and girls, when you hold your scissor, never point it towards your body. Always point away. Thumb goes on top in that little hole, and two or three fingers go on the bottom. Okay, you can cut now. Okay, boys and girls, after you've cut out your two pieces of your turtle friend, Take the first one, the head, and get your paper bag ready. Okay, and turn it upside down so that you see this part, the rectangle bottom part of the bag. You're going to put glue on the back of your turtle's face and glue that part to the very line of your paper bag. And you can get someone to help you with this. Then you put your glue on the bottom of Mr. Turtle, and that part is gonna go on the next part of the bag right underneath, just close enough so that it lines up with his mouth. There he is. And now when you open the bag upside down and you stick your hand in it, you have your own silly turtle friend. I wonder what it's gonna eat. Oh no, not my fingers. Okay, boys and girls, maybe after a little break, you can work on this math sheet. And on the sheet, we have some different pictures of turtles. There are turtles already born, turtles in their shells cracking out, one turtle really cracked out of the shell, two more turtle friends, and then turtle eggs before they're even born. So what I need you to do is to cut out the numbers on the side of the page. Remember, and you cut those things again, thumb up, in the top hole, three to two fingers in the bottom, and cut away from your body. When you have all your numbers cut out, lay them down on your table, just like Miss Dawn did, and let's look at what we have. Let's look at the first picture that we have. Turtles, let's count our turtle friends. One, two, three. When you find the number three, look in your pile. There's the number three. Can you find your number three? When you found your number three, again, take your glue stick, put the th glue on the bottom of your three, and put it right next to your three turtle friends. All right, let's look at the cracking turtles that are cracking out of their shells. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Look for the number five. Five. That's your number five. Take your number five, put a little bit of glue on the back of your number five, and put that right next to you. Your five 
turtles getting ready to crack out of their shells. And here we have an easy peasy. How many turtles do you see cracked out of their shell? One, that's an easy peasy number. One straight line right there, so find your number one. Glue on the back and put that right next to that one cute little turtle cracking out of his shell. All right, more turtle friends. One, two, let's find the number two. I got it, did you get it? There it is, number two. Little glue on the back, right next to it. And there at the very bottom are the turtle eggs. One, two, three, four. This one's easy because it's the last number that you have left. There it is, the number four. Little bit of glue and pop that right there next to the four eggs. Guys, you did a really great job. You can color in your turtle pictures. And I have a friend I want you to meet. Now he's not a turtle, but he's pretty close and he's been pretty lonely being stuck in the house like me and you. So I thought I'd bring him out to say hello. So just hang on and you've heard about him. I wonder if you remember his name. Boys and girls, this is my friend Hermes. Say hi, Hermes. Hi. Say hi, Hermes. That's Hermes. Now Hermes is not a turtle. Hermes is actually a bearded dragon. He's not a scary dragon though, but he does have a long funny tail and he's nice to pet. He's not very soft, but he does love you like to be pet, right Hermes? Yes, he does. Hermes, say hello to the boys and girls. Hi boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, Miss Dawn's gonna make another video for you to watch each day so you can keep your brains exercising. Okay, miss you. Bye, and don't forget to wash your hands.